Hey guys, this is just a small clip that I'm gonna put in the video later when I'm telling you about these suppressors. But I am printing a suppressor right now and I wanted you guys to see it actually printing. So if you notice, you can see, hold on, when the thing is not so much in the way, I'll try to get you in a good position. You can see that there's fully finished baffles in there. It's printing the baffles and, and the holes in them, it's, it's got a good, a good break in it. It's got a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, air stripping and it's, this is the, the really good carbon fiber shit that's over a hundred bucks a roll. This is the PA12 CF. Um, I've tried it in PLA CF, which is, you know, a l much less expensive carbon fiber additive. Uh, this is a 25% a, a carbon fiber, and the, uh, the filament that's the remainder of the percentage is going to be a very rigid, very strong, um, you know, better than injected mold plastic, for sure. I mean, not, it's not like PLA, or, that's why it's over 100 bucks a roll. But uh, it, it's printing very well. I mean, this printer has a heated chamber. This printer wasn't working for me for a while. You'll see in my reviews of it. Um, but I have a couple air gun things coming up because I just got my 25 caliber exploding pellets. And I just uh, had a, a uh, Scout Epoch sent to me today. So it should be coming in uh, by the end of the week, in the next few days. So I'll have a video to make on that. So you guys can look forward to that. But I'll probably already be talking about that in the video that this is going to get interjected into. All right, but let's see what you can see. Let me bring you a little closer. I'm really thinking about using my big, bigger camera again for a lot of these videos because it's just so much more capable than a GoPro. Glad I got this printer going again. The firmware update did it. Because this thing was screwing up so bad, I thought it was going to be a, a, a filament dryer for good. But I actually bought a filament dryer and made a filament dryer. And you know what? The, the one I bought was pretty good, but the one I made actually dr dries the filament faster. The bonus about the one I bought is that it can, it's small and it can be fed, it can feed the, the filament right from it. And with a filament like this, that's what you want. Let me see if I can get you down in front and show you from there. Let's see if this will go down low enough or if I gotta take it off. Maybe I can just go like this. Yeah, you can't really see much better there. I want you to see up on top. And in, inside, where you can see the baffles. Because it's literally printing the baffles. When this comes out, it's going to be threaded and completely done, ready to put on. Air stripper in the end, threads on the other end. It's, it's completely like a finished moderator you can throw right on your gun. It's crazy. And the other two printers are both printing right now a filament transfer system from one spool to the other for up to three kilogram spools so it's taking both printers and it's taking like uh, eight hours on each printer uh, i should have started on both but i had something else printing on one of them so one of them is close to done and the or well i don't know exactly how close to done let's see it's uh 66 done which that's what that looks like Oh, let's show you up here. But it's a lot of progress. There's a, a lot of parts almost done. And then this one is not nearly as much progress. I haven't made the light strip like I did over there yet for this one. Because if you put more lights inside here, it'll mess up the LiDAR. Um, but you can see a little bit. I'm going to make those lights for inside here, but it's doing its thing. It's just a lot further behind that other one. But the suppressor should be done in like 30 minutes. Uh, let's see. It'll be done, uh, no, it'll be done in 57 minutes. But uh, it'll be perfect when it's done. So I'll uh, 
show it to you guys in the next video. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna redo the review for the, for the uh, 3D printers first, and then I will. Uh, you'll be in the middle of the, a video that has nothing to do with the 3D printers. It'll be about air guns. All right, talk to you soon, guys.